US travel ban, and of course the countries from which these restrictions apply were drawn up by the Obama uh, Nigel, administration. hold on a second. I've got to break in because I've got the small business people speaking outside the White House. We're cutting back on regulations, and, um, and that's uh, very exciting for small businesses, uh, for sure. The, the mere fact that he um, cares about what our challenges are and what we deal with on a, on a regular basis, on a daily basis, um, trying to grow our small businesses uh, is really extraordinary. He, he really cares about what our problems are and how uh, to come up with some solutions um, to, to rectify those issues. Can you identify yourselves, please? Yes, Joy Weatherup Anthus, upstate New York. Irma Aguirre, restaurant owner from Las Vegas, Nevada. I'd like to add that the president has been a, our president for the past week and starting on his second week. And what he's doing is a terrific job in trying to listen to all walks of life, listening not just to large businesses, but small businesses like us, and really being resilient in the things that he wants to do to move business forward. Not just large businesses, but also small businesses. And that gives me a lot of hope. So my name is Natalia Luis, and I'm uh, Chairman and CEO of M. Luis Construction, M. Luis Products. We manufacture asphalt material, recycle material, and perform construction services for the public sector. Uh, I am I am grateful today for the opportunity to have a candid conversation on some of the overregulation that impedes our ability to be efficient and as effective as we can be. I think this is a huge step forward and we're looking forward to more to come. Thank you. I'm Dennis Bradford and I'm from Oklahoma and Florida and I just want to say that the President was wonderful to invite all of us from what we call flyover country to come and talk about the issues out in the countryside instead of having just people from here in Washington and it was a very uh, good meeting and the order he signed I think will really jump start small business and we're very happy to uh, have Donald Trump as the president. Hi, I'm Larry McKinney from Capital Radiology, a Maryland company. It was fantastic in week two for the president to have small business and someone that really cares about the problems that we're having with the regulations, with Obamacare, uh, the rules and regulations are actually crushing us small businesses in the healthcare field, is putting physicians out of business because they can't keep up with the regulations. They're having to go work and get jobs at hospitals because there's nobody listening to the plight of the small business. Donald Trump is the first person has put his money where his mouth is, stepped up, and is doing something incredible for small business. It was a great meeting, and we look forward to working with him. My name is Roger Campos, Chairman of the Minority Business Roundtable. What an honor it was to meet the President of the United States. All of us here have a seat at the table. That's something that we haven't had before. I think we're in a new direction. I think uh, the economy is going to grow, and I think uh, that we should thank uh, the voters of America for putting Donald Trump in office so that we can have access to capital, access to credit uh, to help our struggling small businesses. Thank you. Chris Christou, president of Gold Cross Baking Company. It's an honor to be here today. Uh, it's great that he you know, signed that executive order to cut regulation. Uh, it's going to help us out tremendously, and uh, again, it was an honor to be here today. Okay, you are watching a series of small business leaders emerge from the White House, voicing clearly their support for President Trump and what he's doing for small business.